One of the biggest things we deal with here is the fact that our building codes, which are all those up there, <laughs> all those codes are state statutes. So they get changed by the legislature quite frequently. Uh, so the challenges we'll face over the next 60 days. So we may do something one way in January, but after the legislature meets, there could be some changes in March or April. We don't like them either. Folks think that, you know, oh, we just like to have change and make it tough. On, no, we don't. We don't like to change either because we have to change our forms. We have to re-educate our folks. We have to retrain. We have to get all geared up, change the website. We don't want to do that, but we have to do it because if we fail to comply with the statute, then the licenses that I hold and all my certified employees hold go in jeopardy. Have you had a garage sale before? We recently moved the code enforcement department to now become a division of the building department so that all things related to code compliance and issues other than building codes can be handled in one division in one department. The building department is, is really three departments in one. The most obvious is the building department that does building permits, which requires plan review, inspections, and a lot of administrative duties associated with that. And you can register a business name. Now, I can give you a telephone number. We also uh, do business tax. Business tax is what we used to call occupational licenses. So that's all the businesses in town are required to receive a business tax receipt. So like a license to, to be in business. Hi, this is business tax office here in the city of Port St. Lucie. We regulate about 8,000 of those. Every year they come up for renewal. So we have to monitor whether address changes from one to another. All right, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Also, if their business increases or decreases, or they may add additional duties, which would change their business tax. And also in business tax, we do special events and political signs. And in addition to our staff, we have... Our new business training classes uh, are designed for those individuals that uh, may want to bring their business to Port St. Lucie or may want to start a business in Port St. Lucie and they kind of don't know all the rules and regulations. Other complaints would be forwarded to, to code enforcement. This is a free class and the building department wrote the class. We, we teach the class. It lasts for about 45 minutes to maybe an hour. Lots of good information, lots of good refreshments, you know, lots of answers. We teach them everything they need to do for their business. Uh, we give them communication contacts. In fact, they could actually apply for a license right there at the class. Any other questions? Last year, I asked the city council if they would allow me to reduce the application fee for new businesses for every individual that takes the class, and, and they've agreed. Go to the contractor class. Not only if they take the class, they'll get a reduction in their application fee, but we also designed a class for contractors, and we reduced the testing sponsorship fee by 33% for them as well. So they get like a double reduction if you're a contractor and take the class. We realize that a lot of businesses, a lot of contractors and developers as well, come from other parts of the country and they want a permit application or they, they want different bits of information like checklists for permits and things. And many times they have to send us an email, call us on the phone, can you mail me one? Well now we've taken put all that information on the website. If you want a permit to change a water heater, there's an application on the website for you. And they're all in PDF format, so you can fill them out and, and we can read them. No matter what you want to do, you can download any of that information off the internet and have it. And there's a lot of checklists that are associated with some of those as well. We do conduct training classes for realtors and our Realtor Assist um, training program has trained almost 600 realtors in our area. And we train them on what the building department does uh, we also give them a lot of valuable tools so they can check on a property before they might list it or before they may show that property. They can go on our website, see if there's any violations or issues with the property. And we've also created a special website just for Realtors that they can contact myself or my assistant and we guarantee them an answer back within an hour. Mm -hmm.